Hello, Ultra Sabers. This is Kazuyuri. I am uh, so sorry this has taken me so long. I've uh, been sidetracked on another project. But I owe you guys a review of some Saber stuff. Really, this is a review on one Saber and a whole bunch of options. I uh, went a little crazy this time. I've really only bought one Saber since my last review. But I have bought a ton of pommels and emitters and played around with various things. I'm honing in on my favorite saber and I think I have finally found the perfect saber for me. And I thought I'd kind of let you know how I got here. First things first, I want to start with my Omen. If you guys recall here on my Omen, I told you in the last review that this was one of my favorite handles. The design of the actual handle itself is beautiful. And once you remove the emitter portion, The balance of this part of the handle is one of the best handling of the sabers I've ever had. But for the size of my hands, it's just a little bit short. So I, while I fell in love with this handle, it wasn't quite perfect. Thus, when Ultra Sabers released the Flamberge V2, you'll notice it is one section longer, making it the perfect length that was in there. Now it is black instead of silver, which is fine with me. It's still the same idea, same concept. And you'll notice the cross guard is missing. I'm not a big fan of the cross guard. So when I ordered it, I ordered it without LEDs on the side, but still with the Emerald driver. I knew that that cross guard would not be the emitter that I wanted. So I ordered a whole bunch of parts. The first thing I wanna show you is just kind of the way the Sabre looks with some of the different parts that I ordered. So you can check out the handle. So this here is the standard pommel that the Flamberge V2 comes with. And you will see that basically we have the same handle. Same design, same pommel. This is just a little longer. Now I thought I'd try a few different emitters to see what the different looks would be like. There it is with the Mantis No Claws, which I think is a very sharp looking combination. But it made the front too heavy. This is a monster emitter for those of you who are considering it. It is really big. So really, if you were to put an emitter like this, say on the regular Flamberge handle, notice how it adds almost the same length if you end up choking all the way to the top. It adds almost the same amount on there. So this just ended up being too heavy. So I decided, I, I have a war glaive which I've shown you guys before that has no claws on it. So I went ahead and ordered one with claws because I knew that I liked the neck already. So that's what it looks like with the war glaive on there. Now, unfortunately, I just really didn't like the way the design just stops as it comes up to this part. I think it looks really disjointed. Now, the weight of this was much less, and if I was to really fight with it, I would remove the claws, just like on my other one. But I just didn't like the way it goes from this nice design to totally smooth. It just didn't fit for me. So one of everybody's probably most iconic ones we all know here. I purchased this because I just wanted this piece. I'm not sure if m many of you knew, but this part of the emitter is actually just like an extension and you can put any emitter that you want on this. What I discovered is you can also take the claws off of this. While this part I had assumed would sit on my shelf forever, I have to say that is one sleek emitter. And so what I've done with my Omen is I've put the top of that Malice onto my Omen. Now how's that for a good looking? That is one beautiful saber. So this emitter, I have to say, is incredible. The Malice has probably become one of my most versatile emitters. 
using the top on my silver pieces and then combining this piece with my darker pieces. So this now actually uses my offhand Shoto because again it's still a little bit shorter than I would like for a main two-hander but look at that, that is a beautiful saber. Now one of the big things I discovered on the Flamberge is the way the blade, the side blades come in. They are basically two separate pieces. This would normally be on the side of a handle, but they come apart. Now this piece is also very similar to the neck. It's just an extension. You can screw any of the emitters into the end of this piece. So if you just needed to add a little bit of length to something, this would be a great option to go with. And just take your emitter off, put this in the place, and you add yourself about an inch and a half. Just a beautiful piece. So I took that piece off of there, added it to my malice, and threw this on my Flamberge V2. Now the way that that ended up going together, I really like the design of that emitter. Absolutely breathtaking. I like the feel of it, the weight of it. It gives you sort of a neck piece that when you're gripping your hand knows where to stop. It feels kind of similar to having a Suba like on a Katana. As your hand slides up, it knows that's where it's supposed to stop so that it won't end up on the blade. But now that I have this really angular gear shape, on the end of this flamberge, this didn't really fit to me anymore. It's super smooth and elegant on the side, and this is out of control here. Luckily, about the time I discovered that, Ultra Sabers came out with the Renegade. This is the small Renegade pommel. Placing this on the end of my flamberge brings us together an amazing cohesive saber. Now I'm horrible at naming things so this doesn't have a name. I'm going to post some pictures up on the forum as well hoping to get you guys to give me some idea but this is my favorite saber. I duel with this saber. I've upgraded the sounds. You can see it's got a different sound font on it. Talking V4 sound card. For those of you who haven't checked out the V4 sound card, the ability to switch fonts, amazing. It has incredible sound. I think the sound is actually a little crisper. I don't see too much a difference in the volume between the V3 and the V4, but the sound seems crisper to me. You get a better delineation between the highs and the lows. Got a recharge port, AV switch, and an emerald driver so we can change that to everything you want this is my favorite saber of all time the flamberge v2 is incredible it gives you the options as you see to change the top and the bottom and one of my favorite things is it's very simple to just remove the blade and essentially leave the blade holder on allowing you to store the blade i always put the dust caps on so stuff doesn't get inside of them and switch to another blade. Say you wanted a different length or a different color or you just wanted to be able to quickly put your blade plug in without having to undo the screws. You could put a blade plug in one of these because when you do buy the Flamberge emitter, you get three of them, one on the top and one on each side. You only get two of those little extenders. There are only two of these extenders that come out of the side, but you get three of these ring pieces. So you could have like, two different lengths of a blade and a blade plug that you can easily switch out without having to put any of the screws. You don't need your wrench anymore. So that is one of the most versatile things I have seen. I absolutely love buying the Flamberge. Even though I'm never going to use the Flamberge as a cross guard, this is by far my favorite saber. So I just had to let you guys in on what I've been doing. I hope you all enjoy. I hope this helps 
any of you who were thinking about how to customize or buy something like this, but that's how I ended up with a Malice Emitter and a Malice Emitter, Flamberge V2, and an extra pommel. I've completely customized two sabers that I think make a very nice kind of matching set. I can use the primary one as my two-hander or as two one-handers, and I could not be happier. So these are my primary Ultra Saber sabers. Thank you, and we'll see you later.